Hi CSA, um, I'm out here. It is almost dark. Uh, Amelia and I were picking dahlias all day today, uh, trying to get as many as we could in before potential frost tonight. This is our sixth frost uh, this season, which is bonkers. Uh, usually we can get to the end of Dahlia CSA without threat of frost until like the very, very end. So um, that this is number six is, I don't know, I guess it's just 2020, right? Um, this is Sierra Glow <laughs> in the video with me. I thought I cut them all today, but then I found uh, this one who I must have skipped past. Um, Sierra Glow is one of my favorite dahlias. Uh, they're pretty late this year. Usually they come in earlier in the season, but as you can see, they're um, this is about four feet tall. The flowers are often as big as your head. Uh, and the color, of course, is just gorgeous. So um, they're huge and beautiful and have a surprising vase life. Usually, like, the bigger and flouncier a dahlia is, the shorter the vase life. But um, these ones actually get a pretty good vase life. And I've been hearing excellent reports about vase life from you guys, which I'm really happy about. Um, that means some of the stuff that we're doing on the farm is working, like using extra clean buckets, extra sharp clippers, and keeping the flowers hydrated um, before we cut. So we run sprinklers if it hasn't rained, just to make sure that those flowers are well hydrated and turgid, and that you know leads to a nice long vase life. And then you guys must be doing the right stuff on your end, so you know keeping um, clean, clean vases, using clean clippers, and um, cutting the ends off before you put them in water, and and all that stuff. So I'm not going to lecture you on vase life because I've been getting great reports. I'm very proud. <laughs> It's Friday morning. I'm out here in our pickup truck, actually. I'm doing a, a quick drive-by of the dahlias um, on the way to go turn off the sprinklers. We had a forecast of 37 last night, and in our fields, and particularly in this field, which tends to be a little bit colder than our other fields, um, we can usually count on being 5 to 7 degrees colder than the forecast. So when we see forecasts in the 30s, uh, we know it's time to turn the sprinklers on. Uh, most seasons we don't have to turn the sprinklers on until like the very very end of CSA like sometimes the last week we'll have a little nerve-wracking night but uh, this season this is the sixth time that we've had to turn the sprinklers on which is pretty bonkers but so far it's done a good job um, I can't really tell if there was any damage until the flowers dry out later in the day but this is looking good I I don't, I don't see anything that's a warning sign that they actually um, got any frost damage last night. So that's great. So I'm going to go um, shut the sprinklers off now. And your dahlias were picked um, and packed and safe and sound in the barn uh, all last night. We got them all in um, ahead of any, any frost damage. So that's what's going on out here. Um, here, I'll quickly show you what else is happening on the farm. I'll try to not make you dizzy. Uh, but we have this field next to the dahlias. This was our, um, our spring annual field. This is where all the poppies were and all that stuff. And we mowed it, plowed it, and cover cropped it. And we got that nice rain the other day. So hopefully um, the cover crop seed will germinate soon. It's some winter rye, which is a typical cover crop for us when it's this late in the season. So I hope you enjoy your flowers, uh, and let's see, Colleen is away this week, so you'll be seeing Luke at the shop today, and have a good week. We'll see you next week. Bye.